of the Juggalos make some noise right now. Come on. It is the 20th. It is the 20th gathering for 20 years. Look how far we've come. We're at a dirt bike track in southern Indiana, Juggalos. That's how far in 20 years we've made it to. Yep. If this doesn't go well, we're going to be in a trailer park in Taylor, Michigan, <laughs> Michigan which is going to be... Some of you won't have to travel very far. It'll be wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> we got a great show for you tonight. Clown Miss is in the house, Juggalos. Are you ready for that? Clown Miss is here. It's going to be a fantastic show. Before Clown Miss, though, we got a very special guest for you. Are you guys ready for a special guest? The young comedian. <laughs> Instead of my old stupid ass, we're going to have a young comedian. A guy you've never seen before, unlike me, and you can hate him just as much. So this is going to be a great night. I'm excited. No, we'll never hate anybody as much as you. Nobody. Thank you so much. That means the world to me, my friend. Coming up. Thank you. Fuck you. Juggalos, I want to bring him up. He comes to us all the way from upstate New York. He is representing the Pleasantly Offensive Productions. Juggalos. Make some noise for Dwayne Wilkes. Wilkes. The 20th annual gathering of the Juggalos. Make a little bit of fucking noise for me. Describe how excited I am to be here. And I'm, I can't describe how excited I am that it's fucking cold now. No, Jesus Christ, you guys might have seen me. I was walking around earlier without my shirt off. I swore to God I was going to sweat my tits off. Luckily, I didn't. Still got them. You're welcome. I've been trying to lose weight recently. That's the whole thing. I've been trying to lose weight. I've been trying to, I, I was doing some running. I wanted to get in shape for summer, or as I like to call it, ice cream truck season. You know, you gotta be fast. You wanna, you gotta be fast if you wanna beat those little bastards in the front of the line, right? And I do, I do so much so that I swear to God, I'm not showing my butthole, not on this stage. But tomorrow, like, after, catch me after my set. I'll show all of you my butthole. <laughs> So I've been trying to lose weight, but I did some running. I like fucking. I exercise for some fucking shit. It's bullshit. I uh, went. It's tough being a big guy. I went to Walmart recently, right? I saw a T-shirt. I had to have this T-shirt. It's a Star Wars T-shirt. Had Yoda on the front. And said size matters not. But they didn't have it in my size. Now I'm not one to argue with a Jedi normally, but I feel like at that point, size matters just a little bit. Right? I tried to buy that shirt. I swear to God, I did everything I could to buy that shirt. I held up all the different mediums, hoping like this, maybe this is the one they labeled wrong. I tried. I did. I tried. And that's when another Yoda quote popped into my mind: "Do or do not. There is no try." So I bought the smallest size they had. Yeah, now Yoda has stretch marks and I own a tube top. That's how that happened. <laughs> I also, I also, uh, I love, I love traveling. I love being able to do this. I thank you guys for having me. I fucking can't believe that my first gathering is the gathering I got fucking booked on. So thank you guys for coming out and showing a little bit of support. I fucking love you guys. Ah. Uh, so I, uh, I also make music. Um, I know a white rapper at the gathering. Who'd have fucking thought? You know? <laughs> and I, the one thing I've noticed I, when it comes to music is that there's like one word that people of my complexion are not allowed to sing along to. Yeah, yeah, my daughter. And it's fucking. It was tough for me because I had a friend of mine. Uh, uh, his name is Big Earn. He runs fucking comedy out in Binghamton, New York. He's an amazing guy. And he, he told me that I could say like that word to him. He gave me the pass, you know what I'm saying? So he said to me one morning, he texted me, he said, Hey, hey Dwayne, what up, my Anna? And he said it like that, the Anna with the A at the end, you know? And because he gave me the pass, I tried to like be hip, be cool, and like say it back. And I was like, not much. What is up, my Anna? And then autocorrect fixed it at that for me. And made it say neighbor. <laughs> and that was very exciting for me because all of a sudden I can sing along to all of my favorite rap songs. <laughs> I'd be cruising the hundreds bumping the DMX like, my neighbors. 
some neighbors that you don't want to try. My neighbors. Yeah. Love that shit. All of a sudden, neighbor, I ain't worried about nothing. Yeah, no neighbors. Now, I don't have a lot of time for you guys, and I know Clownfist is a musician, and I wanted to do a song for you guys. You guys want to hear me do a song for you guys? Yeah. I do a juggalo version of Mac Lamore's Thrift Shop. Now, the hook, I want you guys to sing along with me. I want you guys to sing along with me when it comes out. The hook goes... I'm gonna pop some tabs, passing out Fagos to my homies. So if you ain't got mad clown love, then you can fucking blow me. You guys ready to do this? Though, right? By my own admission, I knew something was better, so I took a second to throw this quick Eminem dish in. Shit, let's call him a whitey little bitch. And Eminem was but a slut who got pimped by the business. His rhymes are hella dope, but if it ain't coming from the underground, it's a what fucking hella dope. Heat game, come take a look through my telescope. Don't get me soda from another brand, cause I hella won't. Juggalos, that shit man on their clothes, that shit's incredible, mad wicked clown love, here we go, I hang with Juggalos, that shit man on their clothes, that shit's incredible, I see along with me, I wanna hear every one of you motherfuckers, I'm gonna pop some tabs, passing out Fagos to my homies, so if you ain't got mad clown love, then you can fucking blow me. Thank you guys, I'm Dwayne Will. I love you. Everybody have a good safe gathering.